What's up guys, Peter Kaczynski here. On this episode, we're cleaning the interior. So what I'm gonna bring you inside so you can take a look at the interior of the car and the state that it's in. As I said in the previous episode, the car hasn't been ran in 12 years and it most likely has just been parked and sitting there. I did notice that the window is cracked open a little bit. I believe there might be some sort of uh, regulator or adjustment so the passenger side window doesn't go up and it hasn't been up. Uh, since it's been parked in my driveway, I haven't really done anything else to it. Uh, in episode one, we cleaned out the engine bay. And we're gonna go inside, uh, clean up the interior a little bit, do some vacuuming just to do a rough cleanup. We're done with that. We'll see what the previous owner left behind. Maybe there's a suitcase of money in there, or maybe there's just some more animal droppings. All right, so something that hasn't bothering me is I'm trying to open this thing up and I have opened it up once before. I got in, crawled inside and just pulled up on the rear hatch and the glass and my wife turned the key and was pushing up on each side. But I don't know if you know, but this rear uh, glass lid and little rubber wing, which is one of my favorite parts of these classic Porsches, but there are two pins here that go down into what seems like a Rubik's Cube of a lock. And you turn this key and you pop it right into the keyhole and you turn it and everything's supposed to go and open up. Not in our case, so I'm gonna try to get this thing opened. I got myself a nice fancy prop for when I do open it up. Although you can't really tell, I'm trying really hard not to break the glass because any sort of flexing or warping in the glass is gonna cause that thing to shatter. So I'm trying to be very delicate and use as much force as I can. One of the reasons that I think that the glass is having a difficult time going up is because the rear shocks are completely shot. Uh, it's not going up on its own and it's not being propped up. It's not being held up. It's currently being propped up by a piece of wood, so I'm not very confident in it. And I know that if it falls, it's gonna shatter and I'm gonna have a bigger issue. So I went ahead and I got myself some Euro parts uh, hood shocks. I'm not sponsored, but if you want, let me know. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and install these now and I'll do a little bit of walkthrough. I've never done this on these, but I have a feeling it's the same as uh, the episode one of the uh, hood shocks. Or are they hood shocks or hood struts? I don't know, but I'm gonna do them anyway. Placing these rear struts and remove the sensor. And then I'm gonna pull this tab out right here. I have the same situation here at the bottom. I'm gonna remove the sensor. I'm gonna pull up on the tab. So yesterday my camera died and I was unable to film anymore so I let my camera charge and I'm back at it again. Uh, this time I'm getting into the car because my camera's fully charged now. But what you didn't see off camera was as soon as I put those two hood struts on, the glass was starting to give me a little bit of uh, feedback or play. It looked like it was starting to separate. I guess because of the tension of the two struts going up, I think that's what was, was causing too much pressure on the old sealer. What I've read on some forums and online uh, was that I can actually reseal that rear glass uh, but at the moment, it's still something that I'm not really concerned with. So I finally have a chance to get in here and let's find out what we have. I brought myself a garbage bag. And for right now, I just got a lot of, I think this looks like a car cover. It may have uh, covered up the car before. But I got a license plate bracket. This is the piece that goes onto the rear bumper. I do have the original book. Uh, it looks like the owner's manual, uh, a toolkit. It's incomplete, but it looks like the original toolkit that came with the car. Get into the glove box, 10 disc 
Magnus Hendrix CD changer, a lighter that doesn't work. Claude France cologne, a invitation to a wedding. Is that some sort of reception? That's pretty cool. Somewhere in New Jersey, a TLC Creed tape. I hope it's the. It actually is a TLC Creed tape, so I gotta get myself a pencil and wire this up. And still got the original case, so if I find a tape deck, I'm gonna jam out probably. I found a new window screen, so. If this doesn't scream zombie apocalypse to you, I don't know what does. Don't actually call the police. I'm okay. I've got a pair of dirty gym shorts, a dirty towel. I feel like this is more towels, dirty towels. I found, it looks like there's like a few books in here. So first book, uh, The Black of the Berry, Volunteer Slavery, another book, another book, uh, Makes you want to holler. WD-40 med kit. Garbage. Another book in here. Here we got some more bags, some more rags. Something important. Here's in here. Rear cover. Yeah, the one that's original is underneath this. See more towels, which is a little bit concerning. So why there are so many dirty towels in here? I don't know whether towels were used to clean up a leak or if something was uh, punctured or spilled. This area looks like it had some sort of spill in it. It really doesn't look as bad as I expected. I was almost expecting a little bit of rust on here but there's very little rust and actually, there's no rust actually at all. Um, there's a few random tools in here. So I found the second clip that I ordered. I thought I lost it or I thought it didn't come in the package, but I'm gonna change this clip that fixes his visor to uh, make things a little bit easier to clean. So with the help of these turtle wax spray and wipe interior detailers, uh, I'm gonna be cleaning up the interior. I've never used one of these. So the beauty of these wipes is that it really traps the dirt and collects everything that I need out of the car to be on this wipe. So later when I'm done with it, I can just toss it, give myself another one, and not have to worry about cleaning my towels up. All right, so the seats are cleaned up and I'm feeling a lot more comfortable sitting in here. It's looking a lot better. I think those wipes did a really great job on it. So if you liked the video, consider subscribing, hit that like button, comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, this is episode two, so I'm glad we got that wrapped up. Episode three is gonna be a whole different animal. It's gonna be a lot more hands-on. Uh, I'm gonna be able to get a hand in here, help me out. We're gonna jack the car up, put some jack stands underneath it, take these wheels off, put some new tires on, see what's underneath, and uh, hopefully drain some fluids and hook a battery up and get this thing to run. So stay tuned for episode three. Appreciate you guys tuning in. See you in the next one.